welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are quickly introducing our new spooky fence border die, so let's go ahead and check it out. This die is so cute and perfect for setting scenes for both spooky Halloween cards and also all sorts of cards all year round too. So here I'm going to go ahead and die cut it from some craft cardstock. This die is 5 and 3 quarter inches long so it's a little bit longer than a standard size card which is really awesome because you can completely fill the whole front of your card with this die. And here you can see what it looks like when it's all cut out. I love that it's really delicate. I love that some of the little spikes of the fence are pointing in different directions. It's just so cute and sweet. And as you can see, you can cut it out of all sorts of different colors of cardstocks for different looks. So there we have a craft cardstock one. Here's some black cardstock. In this case, I've cut it from some black glitter paper, which looks super, super cool. And then here we've cut it from some gray cardstock for kind of a softer look that might work all year round too. So it could just be kind of a cool fence or it could be a spooky fence when you cut it out of black or the black glitter paper. So now it's time to check out what the design team has been doing with this die. And this card by Nicole is so cute. I love how she's tucked the little spooky fence into her circle shaped window. This card by Nicole is gorgeous. It's an awesome reveal wheel card and I love how her pumpkins are hanging around her spooky fence. Here's another adorable reveal wheel card by Lizzie, and that spooky fence looks really cool over the knit grass. Here's an awesome card by Rebecca, and I love how the pumpkins are both in front of and behind of the fence. I love how Letitia has combined the new set with an awesome old classic set like Happy Haunting, and that fence looks really cool out of purple and black. Here we've got another cute reveal wheel card with that spooky fence hanging out in the background. I love this adorable scene by Elise. Her sky is so incredible and the black fence just pops against that beautiful purple. Here Shari has used the spooky fence on a double slider surprise card and it looks super cool. This card by Audrey is just beautiful and I just love how that little fence looks on that windy backdrop die cut. Here is another fun scene by Shari Moss. I just love Halloween cards. Oh my goodness, who doesn't love a jack-o'-lantern, right? I love how Elena put her sentiment there right onto her spooky fence border. It looks amazing. And Megan had the same idea. I think it's so cute to incorporate the sentiment into this awesome spooky fence. I love how Kay has layered the spooky fence border with our stitched tree backdrop. It looks so, so cool. And then this card is so sweet by Yanea. I love that the cat is hanging out with the pumpkins in her beautiful, fun, and spooky scene. I love how Megan has tucked some stamped and die cut images behind her fence. And then here Kristen has actually used the fence on a Christmas card. So I love that it can be used to set the scene for cards for all seasons. So I cannot wait to see how you guys use the new spooky fence border die. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.